All right, so hello everyone, um, and welcome to Hot Dogs, Hot Shoes, and Hey. Now look, before we go on to anything, let's address the elephant in the room. Why not have I not been uploading? So, well, look. Long story short, I got a new job at this advertising agency. So that just meant that, um, yeah, pretty much uploading or, or even just like trying to come up with video ideas was a lot harder just because I pretty much had dedicated all my time. And eventually I even got a bit of a promotion after that. So yeah, that didn't really help things. Um, hmm, I don't know what to start with. I kind of want to use something I haven't used before. Mm, okay, I don't know what this is, but let's try it out. Oh, I don't think I spawned it. Yeah. Oh, that's a tiny magazine. What's that? Oh, it's a point twenty two. Of course, <laughs> these things are pretty weak, all things considered. But since we're playing the hot dogs variant of this, I don't think it's going to matter. But yeah, since I've been like pretty busy with that, and also now due to the entire coronavirus business, well, even I am stuck at home like everyone else, so I'm like, alright, fine, why not just come back into it, you know, now is the most perfect time, you know, I have more than enough time to work on this stuff, so, yeah, and, yeah, I don't know, I should have, like, stayed around just a little longer considering the channel was on a bit of a rise back then, so, yeah, I don't know, I'm not really bothered by subscriber statistics that's just coincidental at the end of the day i'm making these videos for myself and not really for anyone else if i'm honest so yeah um anyway there is something i do want to talk about so there was basically um something that uh i don't really know how to like describe it but it was pretty much just pure rage and frustration and probably by the title of the video unnecessary frustrations <laughs> I honestly don't even know what came over me, but essentially, um, what happened was, over the past maybe month or two, I had started to notice certain patterns, right, especially amongst YouTube videos, um, specifically just like some of the larger, like, gaming groups, I suppose, um, and the most recent being, one sec, no, no. oh, there's no full auto, oh, there's full auto, uh -huh. Especially like the more bigger Rainbow Six Siege channels like Bikini Body, Tux Bird, you know, those kind of stuff, right? Like those channels. So basically, you know, I started noticing like how everyone started slowly transitioning over to, you know, commission, like artist commission thumbnails, then as well as um, more similarly edited meme videos. Uh, and as well as just the same memes and when I started noticing that shit like it really started to bother me And I don't really even know why but like it genuinely did start to bother me and it really Really angered me for some reason. Wait, can I release this using the Ooh, I can fancy nice another gun. I can do that too And yeah, like because I started noticing that like I literally made a 30 40 minute like almost like a rant, like maybe day before yesterday. And that was what my planned, I suppose, return was going to be, to put that rant out almost like a podcast. But I'm so glad I didn't, because when I re-listened to it, um, yeah, I just sounded like an absolute madman. And yeah, I'm just, what, what, how did it come back? Okay. Yeah, so just sounded absolutely insane. Like literally just rambling on about the most irrelevant garbage that I don't know. When I was listening back, I was like, Jesus, is that really what I sound like? At first, you know, when I was recording it, I thought that I was going to make waves or something about noticing this. But then I realized that, no, I just sound like an absolute loony just <laughs> talking about the stuff. So, yeah, that pretty much just, you know, like was a pretty big awakening call. And, um... I realized that, hmm, you know what, let me do videos kind of like the videos that I like to watch these days. Um, particularly, I like more, let's just say, classic YouTube video style videos where it's oftentimes just the subject of the video. There's no fancy thumbnail, there's no like background music. You know, it's just the person and their mic and talking about something, whether it be a product. Oh, Lugo. Interesting. Uh, crap. Wait, is this Lugo? I don't think... No, this is the C196, if I remember. No, it's not Lugo. 
Unless it is made by Lugo, but we don't know. Uh, damn it. Yeah, no, we're not going to use that. Um, but, so, uh, some channels in particular that I've been enjoying quite a bit. Uh, um, yeah, but probably the entirety of last year. A couple of note, uh, which I can remember right off the top of my head, is Tech Moon, who uh, does a lot of, like, you know, vintage tech reviews and teardowns. Um, damn oh, damn it. Oh boy, that's gonna get annoying. Oh, are you not dead? Oh, he's not dead. Damn it. Ah, no, there's only a break action shotgun. Uh, no. Let's randomize it. Pump action. Ugh, fuck that. <laughs> Fine. I guess we're just gonna have to use this. <sighs> Alright. Vintage tech reviews. Let's just reviews just of stuff that he has around his house oftentimes but a lot of the stuff i like is when he reviews vintage hi-fis like uh, you know old uh, older record players or just like interesting or unique uh, one-off concepts by companies that uh, you know didn't really pan out you know eventually just because they were kind of at the wrong time or the ridiculous kind of like a uh, vinyl and a cassette player at the same time i think by sony and yeah like just kind of going on the history of that like yeah i genuinely do like that channel another channel is portify which again covers uh well, hi-fi audio, like you, it's just a Russian dude who reviews hi-fi audio, and yeah, I, I don't know, it's oddly very soothing to just see that kind of side of YouTube, of just someone just sitting down, making videos, yeah, it's very, very relaxing, and kind of humanizing in on some way, because modern YouTube channels just feel way too commercial, and I don't know, that's kind of the biggest reason why I just don't like really watching them, and yeah, theme for these channels, is that they don't really have sponsors at best like the sponsors will be you know like the product that they're talking about and most time it will be something interesting and especially in the case of techmoon you know he's pretty honest about the product if it's not good even if it's sponsored he will still you know say it's not good and i do like that now another channel which i really enjoyed you know for a probably good two nights of just constant binge watching was the bellophone channel it's a very small channel of a guy who uh, makes these sort of interesting custom organs and instruments um using quite interesting parts um oh boy i don't want to be chased by those guys right now and yeah i don't know it, it's such a simple like he, i think he uses a pretty old camera too like um i don't really know what to use but it's definitely pretty old and just hearing him working in his little like i suppose tool shop as well as you know just like the background noise of like the ticking grandfather clock and just him working and just his dialect is it's just oddly calming it's almost like kind of like watching my granddad like talk in a way i don't know why it's just weirdly as i said humanizing really none of those gave me anything oh pistol uh maybe i might get lucky fine we'll just take the chance for now yo we got a good luck at the draw hell yeah m1911 Right. Nice. I think that's an extended too. Not bad. Oh, we should probably trade that in. Oh, oh. Neat. But one particular, I think, channel, which was one of the bigger reasons why I decided to start uploading and is actually a friend of mine from my old high school. Um, it's called the Banana Peel. And, well, you know, he's another one of those gaming channels. Uh, and I think the reason why I like watching his videos is just because, well, I don't know, like his as well, and just simple videos. Admittedly, you know, I I will still give it a shout out because I do enjoy watching it. However, I don't know if it'll be for everyone, but check it out if you like it. It's essentially, you know, him just going through um, uh, this game called Fisher Cat, which I'm pretty sure is a mobile game. I don't really understand the objective of the game, but for some reason, like just hearing someone i suppose doing something passionately just you know without the sort of worry servers or viewership it's just so much more like real if that makes sense so yeah i know it's a little bit of an odd sentiment but that's one of the main reasons why i've completely started avoiding a lot of the bigger and mainstream channels 
not because like I don't think it's wrong to have sponsorships or anything like that. It just for someone like me, I'm kind of tired of having something sold to me every couple of minutes, whether it be their merch, that you know, their little um, Patreon, or you know, of course, their sponsorships. Oh God, what the hell? Where are you? Yeah, damn. But yeah, like genuinely, I'm kind of completely sick of that, and so one of the biggest reasons why I've started to watch more of these channels. But anyway, uh, after this take, I think I'm gonna be done with this video. So, uh, okay. like, I'm probably gonna do more of these kind of like VR commentary videos, just because regular games, I'm not really playing them much anymore, unless it's multiplayer, but even then, you know, VR is fun. And I do have quite a bit of games that I'd rather show, and especially there's something that I did want to show, which I may do a video on today or tomorrow. Uh, it's a mod for Blade and Sorcery, which kind of adds like this single kind of map, which, uh, or a narrative based map, which could be interesting. Anyway, uh, once, yeah, once we get this area, then I'm gonna tune off then. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'd even like, uh, I even just like balanced or juggled the idea of maybe even rebranding the channel and, you know, just like maybe even doing like, you know, reviews of this like certain audio equipment I have. But then I realized that that's kind of pointless. I'll just stick with what I have. You know, I shouldn't be so, you know, I suppose that's kind of pointless. I'll just stick with what I have. You know, I shouldn't be so, you know, I suppose like, uh, embarrassed of any of the previous videos I've made because you know like I still made them at that time like I'm basically talking about my gaming videos like those also were made in that sense of worrying about like YouTube viewerships all that kind of stuff so yeah no I've come to accept that yeah that's just part of who I was when I was growing up and you know maybe I might make more of those eventually but now you know it's just due to the entire quarantine and it basically completely messing up not only mine, but everyone's sort of basically a life uh, cycle in a way. Um, yeah, so decided to live things more in the moment. Right, uh, so thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, I will see all you guys later. Peace.